I'm always like futzing with myself before we start. Well, here's me doing my chicken thing. <laughs> my crazy ass chicken thing. We're not network, so I can say that. We can do anything we want. How are you doing today? Oh, you know, hanging. I think I'm hanging in there. You know, it's it was kind of up and down today. I was I was a little um uh, uh upset about whether we're going to work again and how to work again and all that stuff. It kind of got to me. But um but, you know, so then I started reading cookbooks. <laughs> It's definitely going to be a shift, and we all have to prepare for whatever that is, especially in the film business um, yeah. and theater. It's really going to get reinvented. And talked to uh, my attorney today in LA, and he was telling us some, you know, it's going to be monumental changes, but we will get back on sets and it will happen. Mm -hmm. But our storytelling, you know, <laughs> going to have to get really creative. Like, I don't know, just be at home doing a cooking show. Maybe you have to cook things. I can't get too close to you because my pot's boiling. And your hair will. Yeah, my, it'll get curlier than it is. Thank God for curly hair because I had to cut it myself. I wrote to my hairstylist and I was like, um, I'm hanging on by a thread, lady. Yeah. Now, see, I think that's one of the businesses that I don't think that's going to stop. No one's going to want to stop cutting their hair. I mean, for that long. You know. Well, if you think about it, that's one of the places if it didn't, if the salon didn't get really packed, like my, the woman who does my hair, she doesn't have a big salon. There's only, yeah. there's only three chairs. So right. you could space it out. You could wear masks. I would feel, I wouldn't feel bad. My husband has one chair. She's got one. And so, she's, she was always so busy, but I don't know what she's doing now. I haven't called her. Yeah. <laughs> because, because I don't want her to see my own cut hair. <laughs> Sorry, Delise. <Mine> <laughs> so oh, God. <laughs> well, I am making noodles again. Why not? But I'm not making the noodles. I'm just cooking the noodles. I felt like peanut noodles, but I'm not using peanuts. <laughs> because you don't have any. I'm using tahini. <laughs> okay. Which in, you know, in other lands, it's known as sesame paste. So that's what I'm using. It's like so you're using the ultimate uh, Corona substitution dish tonight. Oh, oh, yeah, this is ultimate because it calls for ground pork. I have Italian sausage. Why not? <laughs> it calls for Szechuan peppercorns, which I sadly don't have. But I have white ones, so we're using those. And there you go. I do not have hot sauce. Chili. I love chili oil, and I would have. I should have actually made some. I know how to do it, but I didn't think of it in time. So I'm going to use sriracha sauce. <laughs> You do what you got to do. You just do what you got to do. So I am going to, I think, cook my noodles ahead of time. Okay, so I also don't have Chinese egg noodles. But I think this is going to be a gluten-free dish. Ooh. I'm going to use brown rice spaghetti. And the reason I chose that is because brown rice has a nutty flavor. So it should be good with this nutty sauce. You know, I have full faith in you, Debriana, that this <laughs> be a delicious what we do. You know what? I'm gonna have faith in you. And I'm not gonna measure my pasta tonight. What? What's going on with the world? <laughs> Everything's gone wild and crazy. Well, I know. You, had, you had faith in me last night when I didn't have I did, and, and you finished it. But I did not faith in myself, and I did it. <laughs> I did. I had it. Look, this is it. I'm not measuring. It's going in. <laughs> oh, my God. Take a walk on the wild side. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm going to check it at seven minutes. In the meantime, I will start my other pot. Because you want to you wanna, uh, toast up the peppercorns. Now, if I had had those beautiful pink ones. I'd brown them, 
but I have white ones and I'm going to brown those. So there you go. So no oil, no oil on my pasta. No, 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 no. As we learned with our Italian chef, Manu, yeah, Manu. you just stir it. <laughs> Manu chastised us for that. Yeah, no, no adding the oil there. All right, so I'm going to cook that. I'm going to get my pan hot. And I'm going to use these beautiful white, whole white peppercorns that actually have some kind of Chinese writing on them. So I think they'll work. <laughs> they'll be the right ones. I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah, that's what's going on. I'm about a tablespoon. There we go. No I measuring. I do miss really good Chinese food. And that's something that's sorely lacking in our town. Yes, um, it is. That's why I'm, I'm cook I always cook it. We really only have one place, Chow's, and they're just shut up tighter than a drum. Yep. Yep, that's a true story. All right, so these are there are some things that I always love to have in my kitchen at all times. That's sesame oil, peanut oil, um, and dark soy sauce. And sadly, I am coming to the bottom of my dark soy sauce. Oh no. <laughs> I don't know. And I'm gonna I always get it at Talon. <laughs> the Asian grocery store. And they're not open either, are they? I don't know if they are. Um, I, I know that they'll deliver though, if um, they were before, before COVID. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna look online and see, cause there, there are like all those Asian sauces I love. And oh. I'm running low. <laughs> You know what my biggest fear is? Is that my oil's going rancid. Oh man! I leave, I leave mine in the in the refrigerator, not the freezer. You do? You put them in yeah. the fridge? I put my peanut oil in there and my sesame oil in there. Yeah. You do? Okay, yeah. I don't do that. Maybe um, I can do that. I don't put the olive oil or anything. I think things I use all the time. I don't put in there. But um, but things I don't use a lot of, I definitely. Okay, I have forget that too many time. times where I've been like so excited and making something, and I put the oil on, and I go, no, no. <laughs> Especially with like sesame and peanut, that can happen. Oh, my husband thinks he's being very clever now. Oh yes, sneaking in a little shot. I added a tablespoon of that dark soy sauce to my pork. Yeah. And I'm mixing it all in. Well, what's the difference between dark soy sauce and regular soy sauce? Well, this is, it's thicker. Oh. It, it's definitely got a viscosity that's different than regular old soy sauce. I wonder if these are going to toast. We'll see. I'm going to wash my hands while you guys look at my peppercorns. <laughs> Toasting peppercorns. What's that? You're toasting the peppercorns. I am toasting the peppercorns. Oops. You know, they're supposed to toast the um, the pink ones if you had them. And I I definitely toasted pepper. I toast it a lot in um, other spice mixes. So I don't see why I shouldn't toast these. Uh, what else do I need to do? Okay, I'll chop things. I got these beautiful, I don't have, I didn't have any scallions. I don't know why I decided to make this dish. I didn't have anything. Um, but I have onions growing in my garden. So I chopped off the tops and these are so fragrant. Uh, I can't, like, I don't even know why I would have bought scallions. They don't smell anything like this. They're unbelievably fragrant. So well, that seems like what you're creating is going to be very good. Well, it's going to be something. <laughs> I mean, all, they're all good ingredients, so it should be okay. I mean, when you think about the basics of this type of thing that you're making, it's like, okay, you know you have to have noodles. You have to have a base that usually has an oniony, you know, Mongolian beef type of component with a brown sauce you know and then yeah you know, noodles and some kind of meat and some kind of you know, sesame ish so, oh see now they're starting to pop so they, they i guess they're done 
Oh, they smell. I can smell the. Oh, that smells good. Okay. Well, I'll think of. Whoops. I think I need a pot holder. I'm kind of inventing something right now. Right now, I am. <laughs> All right. So now I'm going to. This pot's nice and hot. I'm going to put in some peanut oil. Okay. Now, what happens in, in the refrigerator is this gets solidified, but I just put it in a little um, hot water. On it. Let's just it. find that it stays fresher longer in the fridge. Oh yeah, absolutely. It absolutely does. Yeah. Okay. So one of the ways you can tell the oil is ready is it starts to shimmer, and it's it's doing it's kind of cool to see. Oh, hear that? Wow. I'm going to crisp up my pork. Hmm. Don't get too close with that camera splattering. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it's really hot oil. Yeah, it is. Well, it says, the recipe says you're supposed to quote unquote deep fry the pork. And I'm like, I don't know, that's a little overkill for me. <laughs> do you have a deep fryer? No, you would do it in a wok. And I just didn't cook it in my wok because I know most people probably don't have one. So I just put about a quarter of a cup of oil and it calls, the recipe calls for a cup. And I'm like, yeah, that's a little much. So sorry, Mark Bittman, I think it's your recipe. I don't know. <laughs> but see, as a chef, you have, as a home chef, you have power to say no to something you see in a recipe. That's right. You can. If your yeah, gut instinct tells you no, just listen to it. That's right. <laughs> okay, so you want these to get this pork to get crispy um, in the oil, which you know pork has a fair amount of fat all on its own. So I'm like, why would you add that much peanut oil? I don't know. But you can see it's starting to get crispy. Wow, that looks good. Isn't that pretty. Uh, so, uh, like you can see the difference with that dark soy sauce, can't you? Yeah, I want to check out what that is. When we can go back to the grocery store, <laughs> to the to the Asian market. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, this looks beautiful. I want to get yeah. spices from there. It's really pretty. So I think then then. It, the recipe says to pour off the oil except for a little bit. So I'm like, I don't know. I just don't want to use that much oil. So I didn't. I'm, I'm no longer going to justify myself. I did what I did. <laughs> Listen, we, we accept you. We accept Thank you. you. Thank you so much. <laughs> you like me. You really like me. Yes. Yes. You are, you are loved no matter what choices you make. <laughs> well. I mean, there is a limit. I understand. We're in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. So these look like they're getting nice and crispy. Mm -hmm. Little bits of pork. Yum. So I'm going to take them out and I'm going to just transfer them to another pan over here. And then I'm going to get my other ingredients ready. Okay which is ginger, garlic, mm. uh, what's that? Yeah, I'm just making an mm sound. <laughs> an mm sound, okay. Mm. You can be eating me. But first I'm gonna check my pasta. Yeah, what's going on with the noodles? What's going on? You know, the thing about brown rice noodles is they're, they won't cook until they absolutely, then all of a sudden they're cooked. Yeah, they're still crunchy. You know what I just tried the other day? It was um, chickpea rice. Oh, isn't that good? It was from that brand Bonza. It was very good and it cooked in three minutes. Yeah, the, a lot of the times you have to be really careful about, you know, not overcooking those um, fake pastas. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. I like call them. Well, I never had fake rice before. 
Oh, I love it. I like the cauliflower rice. Um, there's a bunch of different kinds. Okay, I'm just peeling this a little bit with my knife. Loving those knife skills. Yeah, isn't that great? <laughs> I'm like, I'm, I'm using a knife that's way too fucking big, but I don't care. Oh, Whoops, so you've got the S K I L L Z. Yeah, that's right, baby. <laughs> All right, so I am, I peeled it sorta, <laughs> and I'm chopping it up. And then I'm going to chop up some. Oh, it smells so good. This was a really fresh piece of um, ginger. Wow. Choppy, choppy. Get out of the way. It's really good. Yeah, it smells great. And then I'm going to chop a couple cloves of garlic, because why not? We had um, Tokyo Cafe last night, and it was delicious. Oh, yeah, that's right. How was it? And it's half the price of Konami, P.S. Um, it was really good. Oh, good. They have you go to the drive. -thru. You go to the drive-through, and yeah. they're just really good about hermetically sealing everything, giving it to you. They're awesome. That's great. I'm glad you got to do that because no. I think it's got to go on our list of things to do soon. <laughs> like tired of cooking. Yeah. All right. So I'm gonna do like a pretty good. Tables, two tablespoons of ginger, maybe it's three, it's pretty big, and a couple tablespoons of garlic. Mm. That's all chopped up. And let's see, how much oil's in here? Eh, I don't like that much. I'm gonna take some out. <laughs> I don't think I need that much oil, I'm just saying. I think I only need like half that. But I'm gonna keep it because it has the, that pork flavor in there. Yeah. I don't want to add any more. And then I'm gonna heat the oil up a little bit. Ah, there's a stray porkling in there. Get out. Porkling. <laughs> <laughs> but it's pretty hot. I mean, feels hot. And I'm gonna add the garlic, mm. the ginger. And these lovely scallion top things that I got out of my garden. <laughs> I'm gonna let them cook for a few minutes. So they're a little brownie brownie. Oh, that smells good. Oh, what's better than ginger and garlic and onions? Nothing. Not much. Not much. Nothing. So I'm gonna let that get a little brown on it. And I'm supposed to Grind up these peppers. Hmm, peppercorns. How will I do that? I need a trick. I'm gonna get a trick for you. I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> this is how I'm gonna do it. <laughs> how are you gonna do it? I'm gonna pour them into this plastic bag. Okay. Oh, this is so gorilla. And I'm gonna smash it. I've done that. I've done that. See that? All done. Perfect. Okay. Done. <laughs> all right, now I have to check my pasta. I feel like I'm all over the place in here. Okay. Now is it ready? Oh, yes. Yeah. See, now it's ready. That feels good. Would you drain that for me, Hus? Yeah, but I'm playing with the camera. Put the camera down. <laughs> Stop playing with the camera. Drain the pasta. You can't do both, and you can't ask Cashew to do it. <laughs> okay, so that's got a little brown on it. I'm going to add two tablespoons of this beautiful dark soy sauce. Mm. One, two, and a little bit of chili oil um, or sriracha, because that's what I have. Probably about a teaspoon of that. And... These beautiful smashed peppercorns that I just smashed. We're wow. going in. And about a cup of chicken stock. Oh, yeah. And then that's going to just cook down for a couple minutes. And then I'm going to add a couple of tablespoons of tamari. 
I mean, um, tahini. Tahini, tahini. You know, if you don't have tahini and you have peanut butter, you can do that too. This whole thing is just a big improvisation. It's improv night at Corona Kitchen. It is so improv in Corona Kitchen tonight. Oh my God, but, look at that. That's beautiful. Yeah, it is pretty. It smells really good. And that's going to be your main sauce. That is the main sauce. It's going to cook and kind of get all the flavors together now mm. for a few minutes. And then I'm going to add the pork to it. And then the last thing I will add is the noodles. Wow. And I'm going to taste it, though, just to see. Yeah, I'm curious. Oh, yum. Good? Super good. Yeah, yum, yum. I think you, I think you made up something tonight. <laughs> you made up something you new. Know, I had to do something. Last night, your, your big revelation was just <laughs> an astounding moment on TV. <laughs> well, you know, I really had an aha moment because when I wrote in my little late night diatribe, um, I was like, what happened to life before this where you just were also go, go, go all the time? And I mean, you really cook, Debriana. And one of the reasons why I just have so much respect for you is that you always find time to cook, even when you're really busy. You know what I mean? Like, it's. Yeah, thanks. Part of you that you haven't given up. And I feel like I gave that up when I got divorced. And I feel like I'm back in now. And it's a part of me yeah. that for a few years just was like, fuck, I'm just, uh, I'm too tired. And, but yet it's a connection to food is so important, you know? And, um, I don't know. For those of us who grew up in the kitchens around our moms and grandmoms and sisters and brothers cooking all the time, it's your heart place. It's where all your stories live. It is. And it, well, we deny parts of ourselves for whatever reason. You know, we go through things and 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 different periods in our life. But I feel like doing this with you has brought this back to me. So I'm really grateful. Wow, that makes me super happy. Now that. Fixed my whole day. Thank you. <laughs> Yay. Okay, people. It, here comes the moment of truth. I'm going to actually stir fry a bunch of vegetables. Okay. Because, you know, there aren't any in this except for those onions. <laughs> but I'm going to put them in. vegetable free, but it tastes really good. <laughs> I know. I'm not doing a vegetable free meal. No. Okay, so the noodles are going in to roll around in that sauce. Oh my gosh, this looks beautiful. That looks gorgeous. And on top is gonna go that pork. Wow. The crispy pork. Yeah. It's like you, how do you do it every day, day after day? <laughs> I don't know, there it is. There's my beautiful dish. <laughs> yeah, it, that looks super good. I'm gonna taste one. Yeah, pork. taste it. Wait, let's have David taste it, the true taste test of Okay. Here, have a have a fork. Get us real reactions right now. Uh oh. Where's am I getting some noodle too, or what am I? Yeah, getting? get whatever you want. All the, the goodies. The goodies. All right. Don't make an art project out of it. Just take a bite. <laughs> Jeez. That's incredible. Oh, it's amazing. And there it is, folks. Real reaction. Oh, <laughs> no. Yay, you did it. Yay. <laughs> Bravo. If you want to add any more salt to it, but you might. I mean, the soy sauce is, you know, has a certain amount of sauce to it, you know, salt to it. So it's delicious. <laughs> Divine. Yum. Yes, it does look divine, and I'm going to eat it for dinner. Okay, just so you know, I am making vegetables. You are? I, 
picked up the rest of that cabbage from the other night. Yeah. And um, I sliced some carrots and some leeks, and I'm going to stir fry all that on the side. Oh, yum. With, you know, some garlic and ginger. That's what's going to happen for the rest of the dinner. That's <laughs> for dinner. Yay. You did it. I did it. So, yeah, if you guys want to know about substitutions, that whole thing was one giant substitution. <laughs> Uh, One night well, at the improv. We were having a great dinner tonight, whatever you're eating. Yes, enjoy. Enjoy your dinner yeah. and this beautiful rest of your evening. Mm. Have a good night, everyone. Manja, whatever it is.